Okay guys, good morning. Hey, I am here on the Tully and um, let me set the scene for you. It's about a, no, it's about 9, 9.15, 9.20 in the morning. Nobody's here. Super cold, 22, 23 degrees. Uh, yesterday the flow was at 118, but then they upped it to 170 something. And uh, I don't know what the water temperature is. Probably the water temperature is about, I'm guessing about 35 degrees. And uh, I was here two days ago, okay? And what happened was, I'll tell you a little story. Me and a buddy were up near the Poconos, hit two different streams, <clears throat> fished all day, early afternoon, nothing, not a single solitary hit. I guess streams were just super, super cold up there and uh, put the fish down. So I'm, I'm heading on the way home. My buddy still lives up that way a little, but I said, well, on my way home, I'm going to go to the Tully. He says, oh, okay, I'll come down with you. So we don't get down to the Tully until about quarter to three. We fished it till five o'clock. So a little over two hours. In two hours, I think he landed like six. I landed 18 fish in two hours. Oh my God. Now what am I getting at? Okay. Fish were biting on three different things. And I think there was just a window there where the fish were just feeding. You know, you just hit, sometimes you hit that window right and the fish are feeding good. And then it shuts off good, which is exactly what it did. But <clears throat> it got me thinking about doing a video after you do so many videos that kind of get redundant you know you just what do you think of do you got to think of a theme got to think of an angle you want to make it interesting and fun so what I'm doing today is I'm going to use three nymphs I'm going to use an attractor a suggestive impressionistic pattern like a pertagon or a Frenchie or something like that and then a realistic uh, nymph and see which one of them produces more today and I'm not going to tell you what I caught the Eight, or well, like I said, they, they hit on all three different flies two days ago, but I don't want to kind of give you, I don't, hey, it, it may not even go <laughs> according to how it went two days ago because every day one flies hot and the next day the, the flies not hot, you know? So, um, so let's just kind of uh, see what happens today with this little challenge, test, battle, whatever you want to call it. And, um, uh, so we're going to use for the tractor pattern a San Juan Wormy, okay? So I got Sam Pink, hot pink San Juan Wormy up here. The uh, suggestive impressionistic pattern is a Pertagon. I think the Devin Olson calls that a, a Virginia, Virginia nymph or Virginia midge, Virginia midge. And then I have a pheasant tail with lively legs on it with the tail and everything. So that's more the realistic looking nymph. Okay, and we'll see how that goes and then we'll fish that for a while, see if it's productive and uh, then we'll change it up but we'll still keep those three different um, style of nymphs and just, you know, see if it's, see if it turns up some interesting, interesting results today, okay? So, let's go and get started. close one first there's nobody here so um i can go out that far and when there's when there's guys been here all day usually they'll push the fish out to the uh out to like the middle of the creek if the guys have been walking this already but if they haven't some of the fish a lot of the fish come towards the bank towards the evening and morning hours so Always fish close to you first. And I catch fish on Pertagons, but I don't catch as many fish because I don't use them that often. But I would like to. <laughs> but, you know, you always go with your uh, your uh, confidence patterns. <laughs> and um, so I just, I'm not that 100% confident yet with Pertagons. I mean, I put them on, I catch fish. Here you go. There you go. <laughs> so what do we got this boy on? The pheasant tail. Pheasant tail. Is it? Yes, it is. He's on the pheasant tail. 
So how about that? One up for the realistic. <laughs> Little guy, about 10 inches. Okay. Okay, there you go. See you, buddy. Okay. Let the games begin. <laughs> to keep you guys on. Now, I got my old camera today because this one does not act up in the cold. I knew I was going to have super cold temperatures today and probably icing issues. So, um,. That's why I brought out the old camera. That's well, probably not as super clear as that new one, but we'll see how we do. Yeah, that's on the bottom. Okay, let's go, fishies. There's another one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love this. This guy's a little nicer. He's about 11, 12. And I think he is on the San Juan Wormy. Oh boy. I should have brought a notepad out with me to keep score. I gotta keep score of this. He is. He's on the San Juan Worm. Okay. So if a fish gets off today, but I can see what it's on, um, I am going to count it for that nymph. But I have to be able to see what that does. That looks like one of our wild brownies. Look at that baby. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's get his on. Let's see him. See ya. Beautiful. Okay. So, I don't know how interesting this is going to be. Because now the, uh, Pertagon's got to step it up. Now, I mean, I got tons of different kinds of Pertagons, so this just might not be, you know, like I put on a thread Frenchie and it might do better, but I don't know. That's the one thing, I, yeah, I, I'm going to be honest. It's the one thing I don't like about Pertagons is there's so many different color variations and styles that you can use that don't really follow any type of a hatch or bug yeah you know looking like a real bug so it's it's really I say it's suggestive but it's probably some pertagons are probably more fall in the category of an attractor um, so uh, you you know you can run the gamut of what the heck you wanna what the heck you wanna put on there's you know who knows what color it is so you, it's tough to figure out I mean you could put on a betas but uh, which, you know, you can go with the greenish brownish colors and maybe I'll put that on next if to give this a fair more I don't even know, it'd be a call to fair chance. Here's another one. Three fish. Look at this. I catch you guys on the whole time. And we'll see what this one's on. It'd be interesting to see. Let's see. Interesting, interesting. Oh he got off. I think I'm pretty sure he was on the uh um the San Juan worm because I did not see I, I had him up I had him up to about maybe uh, six inches below the surface and I can, and I did not see my San Juan worm and that's my highest fly so I'm gonna give that one to the San Juan worm okay for the attractor okay I, I have to I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what he was on there's another one look at that oh my gosh so let's keep this guy on oh, oh this is a nicer fish This is an interest is gonna be an interesting day. Because the fish are on the bite so far. So let's see what this guy's on. So I can't see my worm, so it makes me think that he's on the worm. See when people don't fish this man, you come and fish this thing nice and early in the morning, it's 22 degrees, these fish are on the bite. Yep, he's on the worm. Just like I thought that last one was. Get him up. See that worm hanging right out of his mouth. Give me my neck. Nice rainbow. 
beautiful. Get to this guy, I'll have to turn you off and put you right back on again. Okay, let me do that now. I'll turn you guys off. Okay, guys, we're back. Um, get these. Um, so we got three on the attractor, the worm, and one on the pheasant tail. Nothing on the Perdigon yet. So um, if I catch one more fish, I'm going to change the Perdigon out. There you go, another fish. Jeez, oh man, I think I was three cast three fish. Yeah, I got to give that Perdigon a fair chance, so I got to put something else on that. This is a light-colored Perdigon, this Virginia nymph, or medium light. Uh, so I'll put on the darker one. I, maybe I'll put on the Frenchie or something, maybe a gray. We'll see. This is on the, the worm again. So, ah, oh, I got ice in his shoes. There he goes. So, we got this guy here on the wormy, the San Juan wormy. Look at that right there out of his mouth. Okay, so I'll put you guys on. Let me change the Perdigon. <sighs> okay, guys, we're back. Now, I did not put on a Perdigon, I put on a Waltz worm. Now, my Waltz worm looks like a little bit more like a Peking caddis. Let me show it to you because I put a chartreuse hot collar, I make it with a black bead, not a gold bead. Oh jeez, slime on it already. Okay, so there's my waltz worm. It's still got slime on it. That'll wash off. Okay, so boy, the ice icing issues already. Shoo, man. So let's go out here. These fish are hungry today. Okay. So we got four, four on the worm, one on the pheasant tail. Now the other day, when I said I caught 18, I caught at least half of them, if not even a smidge more, on the swing and on the hang. Oh, out of the hit, I missed it. Let's go through the swing and the hang. Boom. Wow, we okay. Well, that might be it for the hungry fish right here in this one spot. Gotta move. Oh, there's another one. One guy coming back for seconds, maybe. And this one, hold on, I think this is on the Waltz Worm. Because I saw my wormy, my regular wormy, keep him in the water. Let's see, let's, yes it is, on the Waltz Worm. Look at that, just changed it up. Now we give those suggestive, impressionistic patterns a fair chance here. <laughs> there you go, look at that. Put it on the other side. Flip him over so you can see the fly in his mouth. What the heck is that on him? There's the waltz worm hanging right out of his mouth right there. Stop it. Take that out of here. Choo. See ya. So now they're all on board. Now I feel better like we're we're giving them all a fair chance. We got something on that they'll take. So let's Come back when we get a hookup.
There he goes. Ha <laughs> ha. Almost on the hang. That was just about the end of the swing. Let's see what this guy's on. Let's see what he's on. He is on the San Juan worm. Pretty sure. No! No! He's on the Frenchie! Okay! The impressionistic nymphs are coming back on the Frenchie. Yeah. <laughs> right there. Show you that Frenchie. Now, my Frenchie, I put a tail on. I know a lot of Frenchies don't have tails. There you go. I got a hot spot. Chartreuse collar, not an orange. So, there you go. Back in the game. Okay. <laughs> um, so we're at 4 2 and 1. 4 for the attractor, 2 for the Im impressionistic suggestive patterns. And one for the realistic. Well, I haven't changed the realistic one. I should probably should change that up. They only got that one. I like the pheasant tail. I believe in it. Maybe I'll put a hair's ear on a little bit lighter. Or put a... Uh, maybe I'll put my... Uh, um, ISO on. Got the big brown nymph. We'll try that. Oh, that was Get back up there. Oh. Come on, fishies. There he goes. Which one's this guy on? Let's see, let's see, the anticipation. He is on... Oh, the Wiggle Nymph! Ha <laughs> ha, they're both coming back. Okay, look at, oh, there he is, but he was on the Wiggle Nymph. He was on the Wiggle Nymph, that was a nice rainbow, about 12 inches. Okay, so we got four, two, and two. <laughs> I like this. I like this test we're doing here. That's fun. Okay. Four on the attractor, two on the impressionistic, and two on the realistic. And missed three hits today. And two got off, but like I said, I'm not too concerned if they get off. As long as I can see what they were caught on. So we can see what kind of results we get today. There he goes. Oh, that's a heavy fish. That's a heavy fish. Maybe he's just deep. Let's see. Pull him weird. a sucker. Get that ice off. Oh, he's a heavy, he's a heavy fish, huh? Unless he's hooked weird. Well, he's not on the worm. He's not, oh, he's on the wiggle nymph. And it is a sucker. But, you know what? We should count him you, just because I'm, I'm curious what they're eating. It looks like he's hooked in the lips, though. Big old sucker. Look at that. Right in the lips. On the wiggle nymph. 
So we gotta, we're gonna count him for, for the realistics. He's a little underneath, but still, that was right there, right next to his lip. That's the wiggle nymph. Put that on. As soon as I put it on, I got two fish. Okay. Now. Oh well. So. <coughs> Not bad. Not bad. That's a decent size sucker, man. He was like 16 inches for a sucker. I can, you can tell how they fight right away. They just don't have the wiggle that a trout does. Trout's got a more more of a wiggle jiggle. <laughs> uh, sucker's more like a slow dancer. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Oh, there you go. There's a trout. He's got a wiggle. <laughs> He's got a wiggle. He's on the San Juan Wormy. San Juan Wormy. Come here, buddy. Come on up here. Come on up here. Right there. Come here. Come here. Okay. Look at that. Right there. San Juan Wormy. Okay, let me get him off. Okay, guys. Down about another six, seven yards. Let's see what happens here. Now the upper half of my cast, I'm covering the same water as I did up above. But when I was up above, I was hitting this water up here with the swing and the hang. Now, when I hit it, Oh, I'm on the bottom. What do I got here? Stick. Um, now I'm hitting it with the first part. It, it, it's be a little bit deeper. Um, well, once it hits bottom. But it's presented a different way to, from down here than it is up there. So it'll be more drag free from down here. Because once it hits the swing and the hang, that's all drag. What? Oh, gosh. He's bouncing on the bottom. Drift took forever. <laughs> oh, he's on there. <laughs> on the hang, on the swing. Oh my god, that drift took forever <laughs> to get down to the bottom. <laughs> Maybe he intercepted it and was just following it. I don't know. But that was funny. <laughs> oh, he got off. <sighs> that was a nice fish. That was 12, 13 inches. I don't know what he was on, though. There's a couple fish I had on I was not able to see what they were on. The last, I don't know if it was the last two, but uh, so we landed, we landed what, eight out of ten, two before they got off I saw what they were on, and then two here, I didn't even see what they were on. Ah, uh, nuts. I said, I don't care if they got off, but I'd like to at least find out what they were on. See what kind of results we get today. There he goes, another one. Okay. Uh, this guy is on. He's not on the worm. I think he's on the wiggle. Is he on the wiggle? Is he on the wiggle? Let me see. I can't see. No, he's on the Frenchie. On the Frenchie. There you go. Ooh, nice brownie. Really nice brownie. Okay. Nice 
Okay, he's on the Frenchie, so they're coming back. 5 3 3. No, he was on the wiggle nymph. He's just tangled up. He was on the wiggle nymph. So, nothing for the impressionistic. So we got 5 4 3. He's all tangled up in my rig. <laughs> Let me get him undone. bunch on the swing. This is on the worm. San Juan Wormy. San Juan Wormy. I tell you guys, I love the San Juan Worm way more than the, than the Squirmy Wormy. The material is so awesome. Okay, let me get this guy off. This guy looks like he's on the worm. The San Juan worm. Look like he, yes, he is. He's on the San Juan worm. No, he's not. No, he's not. No, he's not. No, he's not. He's on the Frenchie. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Good. Did not take him off. Okay, is that 644? <laughs> Coming back. Yay. And look, 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 make sure it's okay. I don't care, he got off. Did me a favor. There's the Frenchie. 644. The wiggle nymph. The worm. We're good. Okay. Now, I would bet that it's probably around 12 o'clock. We started, what, I think around 9? Somewhere around 9? 9.15? Uh, had good action. A little lull there after the first hour, and then it picked up. Boom. Okay, guys, get something going here now. There he goes. What's this guy on? What's he on? What's he on? Okay. Oh, nice fish. Let's see, he is on. Ha! Frenchie! Right there, look at that Frenchie sticking right out of his mouth. Or, or <laughs> it's underneath his mouth. There you go. Beautiful. Just took him off. Alright. The Impressionistics are catching up. 654. <laughs> Gotta get those, that ice. Look at all that ice. Now, see what's happening. Hey, you're a nymph and guys. I, I know you everybody deals with ice and guys, but normally they have such skinny line coming through They don't have to deal with it. The fly line guys Our lines are much thicker. It brings in more water and a bigger diameter. So it just uh, Man is I think every 10 minutes. I'm cleaning my eyes off today. best thing you could do is you could try just to work with the same amount of lines so you're not bringing in line but 
you know, when I throw higher upstream, I got to bring in line because of slack, because it's, it's slack line. So I'm bringing in a wet line full of water right up on that eye and it just freezes. real close <laughs> not even boom there he goes there he goes and he hit it a couple times oh we got off god i think looking at it it looked like he was on the worm say he was on the worm because I, I brought him almost up to the surface and I didn't see the worm so I, I, I'm gonna give that one to the worm I'm gonna give that one to the worm to the attractor ah. I hate it well you know what I just won't count them so that's about four or five now that we had on. So we're still at six, five, four. Like I said, there's, there's another one. Oh, he got off. Come on, what's going on? Jeez, I don't care that they get off, but let me at least see what they were on. Come on. Why are these fish getting off? Funny, the different spots that I, I don't do really good up here on the swing, on the swing and the hang in this particular spot. There you go. Oh, he got off. Man, he whacked him. <laughs> These fish have got my number up here. I am missing. I'll have to come back through here with some different bugs. Work my way up, then I'll come back down with a different rig. Well, there's fish in here and they're hungry. three fish now that I got off. There he goes. There he goes. And this guy is 
Oh, I see that one. Now, this one's on the worm. I can see that. He is on the worm. Seeing a wild wormy. I guess I think that other one was on. I, I really want to give it to the worm because I'm almost 100% sure it was. But this one I am 100% sure. Look at that worm. Stick it right out of its mouth. Okay, I'll be right back. Let's go out now. A little bit further out. There he goes. There he goes. Okay. This one's. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Come on, stay on. He's on the worm. He's on the worm. I can see it. The worm, the worm, the worm. The worm's crawling. The worm's crawl out. Nice fat fishy. Not that long. He's a nice fat fishy. He's feeding good. Okay. Okay. Um, pretty soon I'm going to switch over the rig. I'm going to put a glow bug on. And, uh,. Something else. Glow bug and a hair's ear. And another kind of a pertagon. I'll pick out a pertagon again. It's very hard for me, like I said, to pick out a pertagon though, because I said so many different color variations. You don't know what to go. There you go. There he goes. But I'll stay a little bit longer with this setup and then I'll switch the rig over. This guy is on the San Juan. No, no, no. What's he on? Come on, come on. Jeez, uh, I still can't see it. Oh, down here. Come on up here. Come on up here. Come on up here. This guy is on. Oh, look at that. The Frenchie comes back on the brownie. <laughs> on the Frenchie. Oh, another. T only caught two brownies today, and it looks it looks like another wild brownie. I can't say for certain, but sure does look like another wild brownie. So we're back. What? Eight. Eight. Uh, uh, 855, 855, okay, Frenchie came back, the impressionistic, okay, let's get him off, put him back in the water a little, okay guys, here we go, I switched it up, it took me all day, <laughs> but, well, I mean, it's switching some of the flies around, but, for the tractor, I got my glow bug, trusty old glow, glow bug, Glow bug, glow, glow bug. Uh, for the Pertagon Impressionistic, I got a Betis. Okay, a little Betis. And for the Realistic, I got a Hair's Ear. Okay, so let's see how that all works now. Um, I don't know how much longer I'm gonna fish. I'm gonna fish up this hole, fish out this hole again, work my way back down to the bridge, but eh, 
you know, having fun still. Having fun still playing with these fish. Trying these different patterns. See which one produces, which one they like the most. But still not a huge difference. The attractors are kind of outfishing other stuff, but not by a ton. Nothing like super obvious. There you go. There he goes. Oh, this guy feels decent. Look at that. Two or three cast. New rig. So, all new flies on. <laughs> take a guess. We'll take a guess. I'm going to say the glow bug, but hey, who knows? That could be. No, it's not the glow bug. Ha ha. Not the glow bug. It's kind of like I'm happy it's not the glow bug because I like the other flies to catch up. <laughs> but I can't see which one this is. This one is on uh, the ah the betas the betas the betas all oh, look at this this is the first fish we we fell for I'm gonna have to give it to the betas here that's the one that caught him but he was probably going for the glow bug and got hooked with the betas is that the first one today how about that. Go, 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 go. Go, buddy. Go, buddy. So, get that out of there. Okay. So, that one took a couple casts. Let's try this again. Okay, now we got a uh, eight. For the attractor, six for the impressionistic, and five for the realistic. fish out there. There's another one. I think I just missed him. There he goes. And this one's on the Bethus again! Bethus part of gone. Is it? Yes it is. Unbelievable. And that's something. On the Bethus again. <laughs> Great results today. <laughs> I love how this is coming back now. You guys seem to use the glow bug all the time. And they think, hey, you don't ever change it up. I do. I do. <sighs> there we go. Eight, seven, eight, seven, five. They're coming back. We got a, we got a battle. Eight, seven, five. There he goes. Oh, it's not on the glow bug. I think we're gonna have a tie score here soon. Looks like it might be on the betas. I don't know. I think we might have a tie score. Now look at that. I switch up the rig and I start getting some foul hook fish. That's weird, isn't that? But that's on the betas, so I gotta give it to the betas. That is weird. It's only on the fin. He's 
gun. He's out of there. Oh, wait a second. What the fuck? Okay, so we got a tie score here now. Although two of the Betises were foul hooked. But, oh, we got a tie score. 8, 8, and 5. Eight, eight, and five, okay? So what's going on? Not much different with the rig, how it's balanced or anything. Why these fish are, I still think, I always think that when you get a foul hook fish, they're going for the fly above. But yeah, I could be wrong. I don't know. I don't know what's going on underneath the water. But. Tie ball game here. There he goes. Somebody gonna break the tie? Let's see. Yes, Glowbug. Glowbug got it. <laughs> Glowbug back in the lead with a brownie. A beautiful, beautiful brownie. These brownies. Man, me and my buddies have not caught brownies here in a long time on the Tully. We're catching all rainbows. Now today, three brownies and beautiful brownies. Look at that. Just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous brownie. I want to say that's a cocoosing brownie. I want to say it is, but just so pretty. There it goes. Okay. Lobo's back in the lead. Nine eight five. There's another one. <laughs> Boy, they are feeding today, all day today. But switch your bugs up. And this is on the glow bug. Taking a commanding lead. 1085. 10 for the attractors. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. Yeah, don't don't get all bajiggity on me. There he goes. Boom. There he goes. There's one hungry one in there. Let's see what he took. Let's see what he took. He took the glow bug. <laughs> like I said, taking that commanding lead. Oh boy, eleven eight five. My tractors are doing it. Let's see if I can take him out just by grabbing that glow bug. goes okay 1185 I don't know if we're gonna be able to have a comeback here for any of these other bugs definitely not the realistic that'd be impossible to see the realistics coming back That's a rock. Oh, that's a rock. 
He came right out though, see? Don't pull hard. Boom. I'm trying to get it fairly close to that bush. There's another one. There was two hungry ones in there, but this one is on the betis, is it? Yes. On the betis. Betis, betis is keeping the game close. <laughs> okay, let me get this guy out. <laughs> okay, guys. I am going to end the day where I started the day at this hole at this rock. Okay. This is pounded by everybody who parks here. But there's always fish here because that's great structure. And everybody practices practices good catch and release. Caught three or four fish today that had real sore mouth, but hey, you know, that's what catch and release happens, but everybody gets to enjoy the fish. And uh time and time again so let's finish it up here and then we'll talk about the results and give you a couple of the little stories and uh so let's, we're just gonna do a couple casts here just want to end it here this is a whole different rig i didn't use now my buddy fished here and got, got two out of here look at that first cast in oh my gosh and it's not oh my god it's not on the glow bug good it's on the betas <laughs> There's Kirsten. He's on the betas. I hope he gets off. Cause I have to keep kick him off then. Um. Ah, oh, they're coming back. 11, 10, 5. <laughs> Look at that. Right on the betas there. Oh my gosh. This isn't about numbers of fish today. This is about I'm interested in what they're eating and what. The, okay. So. Take a look at this Betis nymph. It's basically a, a green quill or olive quill body. A little bit of little bit of uh, hairs here up the top. Hot spot orange thread. Little tail. I, I'm telling you, I am not a big fan of fire hole hooks. I don't care what you guys say. I am not a big fan. They bend. They bend. I've used them numerous times now. When I get in snags them, they bend. What do I like about them? They bend, and I get the hook back, but it makes the hook weaker. And so I'm not a big fan of I bought a bunch of fire hole hooks, and I can't wait to get rid of them. <laughs> I don't like them at all. Okay, so we're at 11, 10, 5. That was a that was a fish that bent that. That was a little fish. He was only 10, 11 inches. Man, that uh, if I would got a big fish on there, he would have bent that hook right out. We pulled one out of here. Oh, there's another one. Two. What's this on? Oh, <laughs> coming up from behind is the hair's ear. Oh my God. That's going to be, I'm not even going to throw anymore after this because that's a fitting end that the guy, <laughs> the caboose in this little test at the very end picked up the last fish, a pheasant tail. The realistic. Ah! <laughs> Look at that. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. See ya. Okay. So. I shut the camera off. I didn't mean that. I want to do my closing. I want to look at you guys. I don't know if I can because my cord is still hooked up here. And my battery is super low. Ah! Oh, let me take this. Look at my head. That's better. Okay, guys. Ah, what a great day. <laughs> that was a fun day. I hope you guys enjoyed this because that was that was pretty fun. Like I said, we did catch a ton of fish, but I wasn't so much concerned about um 
numbers of fish. I just was really curious what they took, how they took it. But so we landed, I think 23 out of 26 that I counted, or 26 or 27. It was uh, 11, oh, 27, because it was 11, 10, and 7. Oh, no, 11, 10, and 6. 11, 10, and 6. And uh, 11 for the attractors, 10 for the impressionistic um, uh, suggestive patterns, and then for realistic patterns, it was only 6. Okay? And um, so that's pretty much... I, really, I, 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 I actually thought the impressionist and suggestive patterns would have been last but um because i usually do pretty good here on pheasant tails and hares ears and my and my um uh, wiggle nymph or i usually do it's just today they, they wanted something different and that's the that's the uh that's the um outcome of today is don't always think because the fly worked last time it's going to work again now the other day i told you i was here two days ago i caught 18 and just a little over two hours most of them were on an attractor okay I think uh, I mean I caught them on all three but most of them were on the attractor another story two weeks ago I was up Spring Creek fishing most of the day caught very few three or four that was it and um, I, uh, I, uh, I was down near the Belfont section so I went up closer to the cottages up near uh, closer to the paradise and um, it was like towards the end of the day, it was three o'clock and I was, I was getting ready to leave. I was just frustrated, I only caught a few fish. I'm like, you know what, I'm up here all day, just stay here. So I stayed, I put on, I had a, two flies, a glow bug, and I didn't try this all day. I put on a shrimp. This is my shrimp pattern, uh, which I make out of hair's ear, scud back, and a little gold rib. I caught in the next hour, maybe an hour and 15 minutes, I caught 11 fish. Two of them were on the glow bug, nine of them were on the shrimp. Boom, 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 and then, this, then it just shut right off. So sometimes you just gotta be there, being at the right place at the right time, the fish go on the feed. Other times, you know, I, I switch up your patterns if you're not catching anything. Um, you know, if you believe in it and you're fishing it with confidence, like I do that a lot of times up to Delaware, I'll fish my three, uh, glow bug iso or big scotch big brown nymph and the pheasant tail and i'll occasionally switch it up but they are the patterns that have worked best for me up there but for the most part if you're not catching anything change it up the fish as you saw today we changed i mean we kept it pretty much the same in the morning then we switched up in the afternoon but we were constantly switching but we were catching them on everything so um so like i said interesting results i thought it was fun so I uh, hope you guys liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. And stay tuned. Don't know where I'm going next week, as I always say. Uh, I don't like always coming to the Tully, but cold weather. It fished good the other day. I wanted to do a different kind of a video today, so I came to the Tully. And, uh, but I, like I said, I, I had a different angle, a different theme, or a different you know, meaning for doing a video today. It wasn't just about catching fish. So. Okay, guys. Thanks a lot. See you later. Bye-bye.